Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Swans News. Not sure what episode wrong because we've done a couple of episodes, um, but I haven't done one in a good week or so. And um, because obviously Cooper's been announced now, Dan James has left, so they don't really count as episodes, they're just like breaking news. So hopefully you enjoyed them too. And uh, today is going to be a transfer roundup of all the last couple of weeks of like the stern Swan City targets. And there's been a new one today, so uh, keep on watching this video to find out who's the latest Swan City target. Isn't going away. Uh, 25 year old Johnny Williams, the Welshman, who's a free agent after leaving Charlton Athletic. Um, he's all, he continued being linked with the Swans, and now Wales and I are poor in the last couple of days. Uh, he's actually been offered to several championship clubs, including Derby County and the Swans. Norwich, a former Premier Championship club, of course. Apparently, they've been offered him, but that's probably a bunch of crap. But would I take Johnny Williams? Of course I would. Um, he's quite young, of course, um, but he, he seems like he's been around for a long time, Johnny Williams, doesn't he? Obviously, you remember him at Palace. <laughs> I, think, I think he played against us last season, actually, in the Car uh, not the Carlin Cup, the Carabao One Cup. Um, not the Carabao One Cup, I was sorry, Carabao Cup. I think he played against us in the second round, where obviously Palace beat us one little Liberty, but he didn't really influence the game much. He's obviously really injury prone, Johnny Williams. Um, Obviously, the consequences of getting Johnny Williams, if he does decide to join the Swans, is what's his injury record going to be like? Obviously, we've got several injury-prone players of the Liberty, including Jefferson, Jefferson Montero, Tom Carroll, McBurney gets injured a decent amount of time now. So let's see what happens. Um, would I take him? So yeah. his next uh, person we're really interested in is Plymouth Argyle midfielder Ruben Ramirez. Now, you might be thinking, oh, another signing who's low league. Oh, cheap option again. But if you look on paper, and not on paper, but if you look on the stats and what Plymouth fans rate, and they rate him highly. He used to play for Spurs, so he's obviously been highly rated um, before when he was younger. But unfortunately, didn't work out at uh, for Spurs. But he's had a decent amount of assists and goals at Plymouth this season. He's been a star in that Plymouth side who's uh, been relegated. So he's also got experience with teams who uh, are on the best lower league, but. I think he'll probably be able to do it in the championship as well. But obviously there's a decent amount of clubs interested in him. It just depends what um, club he decides to go to because there's a lot of interest in him. And uh, the two clubs mainly interested in him are Charlton and Swans. So he could uh, be willing to come here, but it will depend on game time, etc. It'll be a free transfer because his contract runs out in at the end of June. And I don't think he'd be renewing, and that's why we've been uh, interested. Would I be? Would I want to sign him? Yes, but uh, I don't think sign one of him and Johnny Williams. I won't go for both because they're both playing similar roles. And obviously got Burst and Selina and Jan Dander, uh in the first team um, situations. So we don't need both. But out of both of them, I'd probably go for Ruben Ramirez, um, just because he's better and and doesn't get injured as much, and he's probably on cheaper wages. So. That's uh, Swans target number two, Ruben. Let me the last player Swans he are interested in, which has uh, attracted my interest, is uh, Peter Bustriker called Siriki Dembele. Now, another Dembele, and usually Dembele's a good, you've obviously got Moussa Dembele, used to play for Spurs, and you've got that ex Celtic lad who's now playing at Lyon. But this uh, guy, Siriki Dembele, seems good. I've been uh, reading his stats, and but the only problem is Peter Brudche, the Peter chairman doesn't sell players um, on the cheap, which could be a problem for us as we, we know we don't like spending that much money. So that could be a big problem for us, but he's got seven goals and seven assists this season, so 14 goal contributions in the games he's played. I think he's played in 48 to 49 in all competitions. So he's obviously not been injured this season much or at all, the games he's played, and obviously um, it'll be around one to two million pounds, even three possibly, for Suriki Dembele. Um, he's a striker, obviously. Doubt he'll get in the team for McBurney, but obviously we do need a backup striker, in my opinion, because I don't think Baker Richardson's the answer if McBurney's not uh, firing. Uh, so, Suriki Dembele's the latest target. Would I take him? Uh, I'm not sure if he's proven at this level. He's never been really tested. He's obviously done okay at League One, but... The only problem is, I compare, I said Ruben Lemaire hasn't been tested, but he's played for Spurs, so he's obviously been tested at like high level, but uh, Sriqui Dembele's never really been proven in the Championship, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this one, in all honesty. Uh, so a new transfer which has come out today from sources at Peterborough, um, so it should be, 
I just want some signings along RC. I believe Cooper is a grid manager now. And uh, I've been reading some things from Henry Reiter on Twitter. Uh, he's a journalist with uh, verified sources. And he said that uh, a lot of young coaches, or just a lot of coaches and managers in general, really trust Cooper uh, with the loan player. So I can see players like Ben Woodburn and Apple haven't been linked yet, but I expect them to be linked. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, be appreciated. Um, obviously... Uh, I've gained a lot of subscribers, which I really appreciate and thank you everyone for the continued support. It uh, means a lot you watching uh, this, con considering I'm not the best. Well, I don't rate myself to be the best, but I do appreciate I do like helping out fellow Swans vloggers and help um, following me out. So I appreciate everyone who's giving me support and uh, makes me want to do these videos because I do them because I the sport again. I just like doing them and informing you guys. And also, I obviously I only started the channel last month, uh, two months ago, with that thing which went on with uh, the other YouTube guy. And the only thing I'll say is he signed my blood. <laughs> if anyone knows some more about that, well, a cheeky shot. Um. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, Comment if you, who would you want out of Johnny Williams, Ruben Lamares, and Sariki Dembele. Are you interested in those signings? How do you think they do, and how much do you think they cost? Just uh, Sariki Dembele, because obviously the others two, will be free agents. Uh, yeah, so that's it for me. My next video will probably be next Thursday when the fixtures have been released. Um, comment in the uh, comment in the comments down below. Who do you want? Personally, I don't want an hard game, but I can see us getting Luke done away. I don't know, it's just something about looped in a way, I can see us scaring. Uh, we're usually our way, so comment who do you want down below. And again, thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time.